Last week, an international law firm identified the Thorns as an organization that fostered a culture of sexual and emotional abuse. So let's get right to Mike Benner outside Providence Park for us. And Mike, what is the reaction to Paulson giving up his title as CEO? You know, Brittany, I think for most Thorns and Timbers supporters, there is a sense of satisfaction this afternoon. They think this is a step in the right direction. They think the next step would be selling the teams. But I spoke to a sports columnist who says he does not think Paulson needs to throw up the for sale signs. He says Paulson removing himself as CEO does the trick. I'm glad he's stepping away. We're going to take that moment to celebrate. Tina Etlin is a member of the 107ist, a nonprofit that supports the Thorns and Timbers. Etlin is beyond pleased that Merritt Paulson is removing himself as CEO of both soccer clubs. It's a positive. It's a good change. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done. The shakeup at the top of the Thorns and Timbers organizations comes a little more than a week after an international law firm released the findings of a months-long investigation into allegations of abuse in the National Women's Soccer League. The investigation revealed a toxic culture of sexual, emotional, and verbal abuse across the NWSL and within the Thorns organization. Former coach Paul Riley is to blame for a lot of that. But the investigation also showed patterns of misconduct by Merritt Paulson and front office staffers Gavin Wilkinson and Mike Golub, who have since been dismissed. You know, you need to restore trust in the product, uh, trust in the franchise. John Canzano is a sports columnist and a radio show host at 750 The Game. He applauds Paulson's decision to step away as CEO, adding that he does not think Paulson needs to cave to public pressure and sell the teams. I think if they remove him as owner, it would be a token move. And I think the better thing is to get him out of the operations of this team. And if people want to take a deeper look at the ownership structure of the Timbers and the Thorns, great. But saying simply that he must sell the team, what does that mean? They create a new LLC and, you know, somebody else is in charge of it. What happens in the weeks and months ahead is anybody's guess. For now, Merritt Paulson is out as CEO of the Thorns and Timbers. In a statement, Paulson said, I apologize to our players, the organization and the Portland community for the mistakes we made, including not being publicly transparent about Paul Riley's termination. Our organization's failures and mistakes were ultimately my responsibility and my responsibility alone. It is devastating to me that my goal of creating the shining example of what a women's sports team could be has now become synonymous with abhorrent and predatory behavior. I'm glad that he's finally taking and seeing that damage that he's done. All right, Mayor Paulson says the search for a new CEO will stretch across the globe. And additionally, players will have a chance to meet the final candidates so their voices can be heard in this process. Brittany. All right, Mike, thank you.